Hello music lovers and welcome back to the Woodshed. This week we announced the Rev Guitar Giveaway WTF Wood Challenge. And if you want to see those winners, jump over to my Instagram at Andy Wood Music and then you can see the video there where I announced the winners and you can check out the winners. Some fabulous playing. Also check out the other entries. They were amazing. There were guys covering everything from Big Wreck, Rush, Shania Twain, Sum 41. It was awesome. A really cool contest. Like I said, just jump over to my Instagram and then that will link you up to everyone's performances. In other hot news this week, the fine folks at Sir have released an amazing pedal. I know that Kevin Sir has been working on this pedal for about three years. I've seen various iterations. I even saw a 3D printed chassis at one point, and I'm glad to say it's finally out. Check it out, the Sir Discovery Analog Delay. So hang out here for a few minutes with us and we'll talk about this Sir Discovery Analog Delay, and I'll let you hear it. Roll it. First things first, let's hear this thing. So a little history on analog delays here. You guys that follow me know that the types of delays I'm kind of into are the more pristine uh, Strymons and UAs and this type of stuff. The reason is a lot of analog de delays really degrade your fundamental tone. And I don't like anything that degrades my fundamental tone. I'm going to say this. I'm going on record. This is the best analog delay I've ever heard. And it's for that very reason, the core tone stays nice and clean and clear. Now there's obviously plenty of controls on here. So if you're into the trippy soundscape degradation stuff that you can do with analog delays, which is really why a lot of people love them so much, um, of course that's in here. But Kevin used some really um, clever workarounds to make this thing do what it does and keep the core fundamental tone pure and clean. The first thing I noticed when I opened it out of the box was the fact that it was 18 volts. It has a lot of headroom. I don't want to get too deep into the technical aspects of the pedal uh, because I'm not the engineer that made it. And if you want to see some really great footage of Kevin talking about it, jump over to the Sir video. That's on their channels. You can also check out my good buddy Pete Thorne. He did an amazing interview with Kevin. And of course, Pete's playing and tones are ridiculously good with this thing. So next up, let's walk through this thing. As you can see from the front panel, there's a lot going on. You have what I consider the basic fundamental controls of delay. If you've ever seen an MXR carbon copy or something like that, you're going to notice that these three things drive the car, okay? This is your mix for how much delay you want. The time knob is the biggest knob, which I think is cool. It's kind of like, like, kind of like the way we design woodshed compressor um, in that make the most important knob the biggest, right? So the time is the biggest. And you can max out the time all the way up to, I think, 1100 milliseconds. 
Now you can go beyond that using these little arrows and we'll get into those controls in just a second. So the regen knob is really, really important. Think of it like your feedback knob on your uh, normal delays, okay? Once it gets to about right in here, I'm talking like a guitar player, I'm not talking like a technical guy right now. Once it gets about right in here, you start getting the sounds that I used in the intro clip. Anywhere from here to here, you get some really fun uh, repeats, and the repeats can be colored with all of the things across the bottom. So to review, even though there's a lot on the face of this pedal, it's actually quite simple. Here's your main delay functions, and here's how you color it. Now let's start with these two knobs. With these two knobs rolled all the way to the left, you're getting the brightest and the most low end. As you roll them clockwise, you will trim out low frequency. Same way with the high end. You roll this out and you start getting that dark delay that starts as it gets darker, as you wind this up, it gets darker and darker. Now that can make for a very sexy lead tone. Uh, Andy Timmons, Memory Man user for a long time. The first time I worked with Andy, he had some Memory Mans and they obviously get warmer and start modulating a little bit on the back end. And that's where you're going to get that, that warmth. You're going to make the tone of the delays darker. These interact. So as of course, as you work these together, you're going to find and discover a lot of nice tones. The, the name is really great. I think the name is really clever. I was unaware of the name Discovery. I just knew it as Kevin's Delay, right? So I didn't know the name until I opened the pedal up. And uh, it, I thought it was great because the whole thing is tonal discovery. I thought that was a really clever name. When, as we move over, this is the speed and depth. If you're, you ever used a chorus, that's kind of what you got going on. This is how deep the modulation will go on the delays. And this is how fast the modulation will go. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, as you twist them and turn them, you're going to get all kinds of cool things. One of the things that I love about this delay is just twisting the knobs and using my ear and not trying to come at it with too much of a formulaic approach. Okay, in the clip where I was playing, you see this little guy blinking. That's the modulation reflecting, right? But here's the cooler thing. And if you touch this little button, it changes triangle, square, sign, all the different wave styles you can get. Up here in the top right, if we scope in right there, you can see that we've got the subdivisions that you might be into. Over here, you have access to over 127 presets that you can save. This thing can also act as a MIDI controller for your entire rig. So you can actually put this into a controller format and it can be a MIDI controller. Obviously, you can control this pedal with any MIDI controller. I like the RJMs and the uh, gig rigs. I like those uh, controllers and this works great with those. Across the top you have input, output, expression pedal, and uh, extension switches, right? So this is not a stereo pedal. That is, That needs to be known. I don't really think that this type of delay is the kind of thing that is mandated or needed in stereo. Uh, I think this is like a soundscape type of device. Now let's just plug it up and just hit some chords and see what happens.
So as you can see, this guy is very powerful. Um, the regen knobs, the mix knobs, the time, all the subdivisions, all the low cuts and high cuts and the speed and the, the, the style of the wave, they all affect the degradation and how the delay happens. Right now, I'm just kind of in a quarter uh, subdivision. But what is cool is to hit a chord and let this thing randomly go crazy. Check this out. Here's just a chord now. Now, I like the regen high and the mix kind of there for some of the spacier sound and stuff. I've got it set quite dark. Let's just see what happens. Let's dial us in a little sexy ballad type tone. And lastly, let's just dial the knobs and go crazy with some big minor chord. How's that sound? Let's go with B minor 9. So you can see there's a lot of power and there's a lot of really cool things in the discovery to discover. Thank you guys for hanging out this week in the woodshed. As always, for channel support, please visit patreon.com slash andywoodmusic. That helps me keep this kind of content going. Also, you'll have access to over 200 videos, lessons, tabs, backing tracks, tones for your axe effects. And the best part is every week we do a weekly live masterclass. Now, you get four of those a month, and that is cheaper than taking a singular one-on-one -on -one lesson with me. I think that's a really killer deal. Jump over to Patreon and check it out. And for bookings and show inquiries and all of that other good stuff to buy merch and things like this, go over to andywoodmusic.com and we'll see you guys.